Hello guys, I am back again with the amazing session of JE Aspire that is Optics. I hope you all are working hard for JE Advance. Almost, yes. Yes, Rohit, Raja, Mansi. How are you? Okay, so welcome again. One new session of uh, JE Aspire that is Optics. I am your master teacher, Physics Shadab. Okay? Hi. The guy, Deepesh Sharma. Joy. Okay, Sarika Sharma. Yes, let's start the session without wasting the time. बहुत ज़्यादा time लो waste नहीं करते हैं. चलिए advanced level पे कुछ questions देखते हैं. And uh, gradually हम लोग increase करेंगे. And here I took some those type of questions which you teach some very important concept for advanced point of view. So please, please, please go through the session and remain here up to the end. Follow each and everything which I am just telling you here. Okay. So. Here is your first question. First question is you can see it's a very easy question, but conceptual one. So concept ke hisab se. Yes, Kuldeep. Hi, hello. So conceptually, आप देखो बेटा, यहाँ पे आपके पास क्या है? You have just a hemispherical paper weight. Weight, paper weight is there. Refractive index that is three by two. The form of hemisphere of radius. So the radius of curvature here. Given as 3.0 centimeter is used to hold down a printed page. Hold down a printed page means here there is a printed page, right? And now what you have to find? Pata kya karna hai? See there, you have to find vertically through a paper weight at what height above the page will the printed letters near the center? So near the center, you can see this is the radius, this is the center, and suppose if any letter is here so all the rays which are coming from this object or this letter are incident on this spherical surface but that spherical surface is as perfectly spherical so all these rays are normal to the surface so if they incident normally then obviously they refracted normally without any deviation means there is no deviation at all and if there is no deviation, it means there is no change in position of image. Means image remains as it is. So the answer of this question is very, very easy. A very conceptual question. So the answer is just no shift. There is no shift at all. In case, mein bacho, koi shift bhi nahi hoga. Got my point? Very good. Now, aage dekhte hai, what is the another question for you people? The same question, but there is a change, a very small change here. And what is that change? That change is that if we place that paper weight inverted, got my point? When we place that paper weight inverted, so see here is the letter. This letter is at this point. A central ray will go like this without any deviation, but image will not form by only single ray image will form by number of rays and these rays we are seeing from here this is our eye and if rays are going like this then there must be a deviation because it's a plane okay if this is a plane surface and due to that plane surface in here we are getting this much and for this there is a deviation so we should use for normal or nearly normal incidence the condition for what shift so the normal shift the formula is given by the normal shift delta n is equal to t 1 minus 1 by mu now you can say t is given as the radius which is 3 centimeter here you can say 1 minus 1 by mu and what is the mu of glass the mu of glass is given as 3 by 2 so here is 3 and here is 2 and now you can say this is 3 into 1 by 3 3 will be cancel out so the lateral sh sorry normal shift is my dear students 1 centimeter it means the final image Yes, 1.5 is the refractive index of the glass. This is the apparent depth. You are right, Deepesh. You are absolutely right. Mansi Patel. Yes, you are also right. Teja. 
very nice thank you and so the image this is the object and image will be here the shifting in image is one centimeter so this is the answer okay so this is just the warm-up question a very easy question just to recall the concept of that geometrical optics okay guys very good now see the another question which is also a very good question a very conceptual one see here and you can learn a lot and you also learn a very new thing with respect to or due to or for apparent depth and apparent height so be concentrate on this question you are going to learn a very nice and must concept for this okay so first one is here here is the object you can uh, read the question the question is to each of two media each of refractive index 1.5 means here mu is equal to 1 here mu is equal to 1.5 and again mu is equal to 1.5 given over here got it very nice so much power yes now see here you see 1.5 plane parallel boundaries are separated by 100 centimeter these are the plane parallel boundaries separated by 100 centimeter and an object is placed over here this is the object in denser medium now the rays will goes like this but at this point there is a change in medium if there is a change in medium then here 1.5 and here yes moves away from the normal and if it will move away from the normal then it is like this means you have to find the position of image i1 means you are seeing any object from rarer medium and the object itself in where in denser medium if it is in denser medium then it should be apparent depth the formula is h by mu so what is h is the distance that is actually 75 upon mu so upon mu 3 by 2 so it should be 2 by 3 so here 25 and now you can say this is 50 centimeter got it so for the lens the object is not at 75 plus 50 centimeter it is not at 125 it is at because 50 and 50 here so it is at 100 centimeter this is the distance of object for this lens are you guys got it hey are you getting okay the position of image yes the position of image is here i1 this is the refraction due to this surface and this distance is 50 and 50 more distance so is 100 centimeter now let's solve it for which for this lens now if you solve it with this lens for this lens then for the lens you know what is the formula the formula is 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u 1 upon f focal length of f lens you can see here focal length of lens is given here axis of the lens and focal length of the lens luminous object o is placed in a medium axis of lens the distance 125 centimeter from it find the position of its image formed as a result of refraction through the system okay now what we have to do just we have to find first where is the focal length so let's see two media each of refractive index and lens of focal length 60 centimeter as this is a convex lens so the focal length is plus obviously plus so it's not 225 pratyush what's up it's not 225 sharing knowledge it's not 225 mansi patel pratyush Vatsa, all are incorrect that's why i'm saying just concentrate on the question concentrate on the session okay you guys all are incorrect answer is not 225 and also not 125 devil it's also not 125 no see here one upon f 
it should be plus 60 is equal to 1 upon v v that we have to find minus 1 upon u and u is minus 100 so when we solve it 1 upon v is equal to you can see 1 by 60 and plus if we transfer it it will be minus so 1 by 100 now you can say LCM is supposed to be 600 okay now you can say 10 minus 6 so you will get V 600 divided by 4 which is 150 centimeter got it this is 150 V so is V is the final answer guys is it the final answer no it's not the final answer because because there is another medium also due to this medium there is a refraction so by this lens the rays like to make image i2 here right but this distance is what 50 and what is the distance 150 so guys this distance is how much this distance is 100 centimeter as you can see here here there again refraction will takes place if again refraction will takes place so again we have to use the formula for apparent depth and apparent height but my dear students here we are seeing the object from the denser medium right from the denser medium from rarer one but this is not the case otherwise traditionally it should be h by mu yes pratyaksh nevalkar it should be h by mu because when we see any object from the rarer to denser if the object is real then this expression or h by mu is correct here see my dear students this is not real object this object works like virtual object so here there is a change in formula when there is a virtual object so here we have to multiply means h by mu is not correct what is correct correct is h into mu got it means h is 100 and then again mu is 3 by 2 so it is 150 got my point yes so if it is 100 but actually the real image is at 150 so 150 here and 50 here so the correct answer my dear students is 150 plus 50 is equal to 200 centimeter from the lens right so you have to find position of its image formed as a result of refraction through the system so position from this lens is 200 centimeter and here you see the yes now the answer is 200 all are correct but first attempt me aap sabhi logo ne galat kiya tha yaad rakhna aur kyun galat kiya tha because aap ne real or virtual wale concept per dhyan nahi lagaya is liye is question ko sikhane ke liye hi maine is question particularly is question ko liya tha got it so dear students always remember the conceptual part got it so i hope you understood and you enjoy this question and you also learned a lot got it acha chalo ab aage hain acha ab samajh mein aaya modern physics abhi nahi beta dhruv modern physics ka alag session hai waves ka alag session hai thermodynamics ka alag session hai this session is only and only dedicated to optics okay chaliye aage chalte hain do question ho chuke hain next session mein dekhte hain next aapke paas agla question kya hai अगला क्वेश्चन वेरी ब्यूटीफुल वेरी ब्यूटीफुल क्वेश्चन बहुत ही मस्त क्वेश्चन है अगर आप बहुत ध्यान से देखोगे तो बहुत सारी चीजें सीखने को मिलेंगी ओके नाउ सी हियर इज अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन 
two converging lenses of the same focal length this has the focal length f it has also a focal length f and separated by 2f you can see here as shown in figure the axis of the second lens is inclined and at angle theta this is the principal axis right of the second lens which actually inclined at an angle theta with respect to the axis of the previous lens got it okay now see here with respect to the axis of the first a parallel beam and if any parallel beam is strike to the lens then what will happen they will intersect or focus at particular point which is known as focus got it and you see here this is first image actually by these rays like this okay now this image i and let's say i1 so now i1 will behave as a object or as a point object for the second lens but my dear student second lens is not coaxial so what we have to do we have to find the image position with respect to the second lens so the second lens first you can see this is the second lens and here is the principal axis of the second lens so for second lens we can take the object like this okay if we draw perpendicular because you know the formula for an object which is perpendicular to the principal axis that's why i draw a line here this will act as a object and the actual target is to find the vertex of that object as a image so iske liye what we'll do we just find the position or the distance as you know this is f so this also be f if this is f then this particular length is my dear students f cos theta and the height of the image you can take as f sin theta so for the second lens object is inverted having the height f sin theta at a distance f cos theta very good f cos theta from where from the pole or the optical axis of the for second lens okay now we can apply the formula for 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u it should be plus or minus yes minus because as it is a lens so here 1 upon v minus 1 upon u so focal length is f and plus f because of yes convex lens is equal to 1 upon v that we have to find minus 1 upon u minus of f cos theta now you can say bachcho 1 upon v is equal to 1 upon f got it plus so when we transfer it will be minus 1 upon f cos theta and from here you can see that it is 1 upon v is equal to c f into f cos theta then f cos theta minus 1 f will be cancel out v that you have f cos theta divided by cos theta minus 1 got my point this is actually v v means distance of image from the pole of second lens so see here this is the pole of second lens so object will be where object will be at this particular distance suppose this one and when we extend this so this distance is v and formula or the expression for v is this got my dear students and see what we have to find we have to find the image so where is the image so first we have to see where is the object so object is there object is here the vertex of this so we have to find the length of this image 
for this we just have to find m m means yes magnification and m is equal to v by u so now we have to just rub it if you want to note it then just pause the video after that not now and uh, you can note out this and now this is you can see we should not rub this one second now this is v now we have to find m so what is m m is equal to for the lens it is actually v upon u so for m what is v v is my dear student f cos theta divided by cos theta minus 1 got it so when we put this f cos theta divided by cos theta minus 1 divided by u okay so what is u my dear students uh, one second this this is f sin theta so what is u u is f cos theta so f cos theta will be cancel out so m you get 1 upon this and what is m m is actually i upon o yes yes anand you are right very right so u is negative so m is also negative now h m is actually h upon i and h upon o got it height of image divided by height of object very right now you can see this is minus 1 upon cos theta minus 1 so what is the height of object height of object is f sin theta and it is negative height of object see here if this is a principal axis it is inverted so f sin theta is minus f sin theta and if we put minus f sin theta here so this minus minus will be cancelled out so you will get height of image see here height of image plus f sin theta divided by cos theta minus 1 this is the height of image my dear students okay and height of image is positive if it is positive then it means the object is downward so the image is like this okay if image is like this and this should be at 90 degree and you have to find the vertex so let's see the height is this so is it at this point or not okay so what we have to do just take this angle is theta so you can see this is suppose uh, h right not h i or h o support h if it is h so you can see h upon v h upon v is equal to what tan theta got it so h upon v tan theta so you can say h is equal to v tan theta and now what's the value of v v is f cos theta divided by cos theta minus 1 or tan theta you can say sin theta divided by cos theta so now you can see this cos theta will be cancelled out and this h you will get f sin theta divided by cos theta minus 1 got it means see here this h and this h is same if it is same so obviously you can say the object image of that object is exactly at this point okay if the image of this this is the object actually which is the vertex of this line so image is here which is the vertex got my point very good now what we have to find we have to find the coordinates of the final image with respect to origin of the first lens 
सो दिस इज द ओरिजिन कॉट मे पॉइंट सो दिस इज द ओरिजिन एंड हियर इज द एक्स एक्सिस एंड हियर इज द वाई एक्सिस If x and y axes are so, so you can see the y component of the coordinates of image is exactly zero, right? So what is the x coordinate? Hi Anushka, hello. So what is the y coordinate? Zero. What is the x coordinate? X coordinate is two f plus this distance. Got it? so what is that distance my dear students that distance you can say let l got it so again i have to rub it i am going to rub if you want to note then note it down after that you can see the video and just pause the video and note it down now see here what we have to find yeah we have to find 2f plus l so what is l cos theta c from this triangle l cos theta is equal to v l cos theta is equal to v so what is l l is equal to v cos theta so v cos theta from here you can say this is f upon cos theta minus 1 so what is the x coordinate x coordinate you can say this distance is, is 2f right and this distance is l and l you already have that f divided by cos theta minus 1 now if you solve it so you get 2f cos theta minus 2f plus f divided by cos theta minus 1 so what is the final answer or what is the final calculation you can see here uh, wait a minute i have to remove it and now x coordinate my dear student is ff so 2 cos theta minus 1 divided by cos theta minus 1 into f this is the x coordinate finally and y coordinate is 0 so this is your final answer got it so any doubt till now anand is saying that there is a lag this will helpful for your aims preparation obviously yes your answer is right mansi very good all the best thank you okay yeah theta here here is the theta here is theta here is theta just you have to if you have any other question just replace the theta by the value okay now let's see say this not applicable for theta is equal to 60 because all these formulas are for what for normal or nearly normal incidence so this is also applicable for normal or normal normal incidence this formula is only and only valid and this conceptual orchestration is only and only variable for maximum theta up to 10 degree for maximum theta up to 10 degree if theta is more than 10 degree then this approximation of normal or nearly normal incidence and all the formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon minus 1 upon u or plus 1 upon u are not valid so this is the approximation so kindly kindly always remember that all the formulas in optics are approximately applicable only and only for normal and nearly normal incident okay okay now let's see yes definitely they may be let's see what is the next question for you this is just the diagram for this and another very good question for you people you can see here now concentrate concentrate dear thank you thank you sarika thank you so much okay now concentrate here a very good diagram as shown in figure an object o is at position minus 10 comma 2 
minus 10 comma 2 so you can see this is 2 and this is 10 value of u is 10 got it and p the concave mirror m1 has a radius of curvature 30 centimeter so its focal length is minus of 15 centimeter a plane mirror m2 kept at a distance 40 centimeter okay we can see here in front of the concave mirror considering first reflection on concave mirror first reflection on concave mirror so what we have to do just we have to find the image first due to or with the help of concave mirror so my dear students you can see as the height given is 2 so now you can solve it by formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u 1 upon f is minus 15 is equal to 1 upon v that we have to find plus 1 upon u u is minus 10 got my point u ki value hum sign ke saath f ki value sign ke saath rakh rahe hain okay dear uh, what we are saying uh, it's not working lagging refresh refresh your page dear refresh your page see 1 upon v so 1 upon v will be 1 upon 10 is negative so here it is positive and minus 1 upon 15 now you can see here this is what yes 30 so 3 minus 2 so v is equal to plus 30 centimeter right and dear students what you have to find coordinates of the final image so now you can see here the image will form at 30 so this distance is 30 let's see it is upward or downward for this what we have to do we just have to find m so for m i have to remove it all m is equal to minus v by u got it m is equal to minus v by u so m that we have to find minus v is plus 30 u is minus 10 sorry yes if it is minus 10 so you can see m is equal to 3 means height of object sorry upon height of image this is m x centimeter it means height of image it is at this particular position and this is say that perpendicular distance you can say this is 6 so this is also 6 so this distance is 24 okay and if this is 45 angle so this must be 45 so this length will be 6 root 2 and if it is 24 and is 60 so from here to here this angle this distance is 64 okay if distance is 64 so 64 is this much so what you can say is 45 so 64 by 45 yani cos 45 this will be 64 by root 2 got it bolo okay guys so this is 64 by 2 now just draw this perpendicular as this is 90 degree if this is 64 by 2 and this is 45 and this is 90 so it will be 45 so this is 64 by root 2 cos 45 cos 45 is again 1 by root 2 very good very good mansi so 1 by root 2 into 64 by root 2 means 64 by 2 so this distance will be 32 i hope you got it okay so yes very good very good vatsala deepesh khushbu praveen all the best thank you correct answer so if this distance is 32 so now i am making a little bit a small diagram here is your final image at what distance see 64 by root 2 and 6 root 2 just add 
64 by root 2 plus 6 root 2 so what is 12 then you have yes 76 by root 2 can you add got it very good so this is 76 by root 2 so this distance my dear students is 76 by root 2 remains as it is usko aisa hi rehne do abhi kaam aayega yes 76 by root 2 remains as it is bacho abhi wo kaam aayega dekho now what we have to find this is the origin okay and with respect to this we have to find the coordinates got it and if we have to find the coordinate with respect to this the 32 is here and if 32 is here we have to find this more distance and you see if this is 45 this is again 45 so this is 76 by root 2 this much distance 70 6 by root 2 cos 45 cos 45 is again 1 by root 2 right very good so it will be 38 so this much is 38 now i hope you got the answer 32 and this is 38 right so with respect to this 32 and again 38 what is it yes minus tell me minus 70 degree oh yes so x y coordinate will be here is something and y coordinate is minus 70 centimeter got it very nice very nice all of you raghav mansi prateksha khushbu shabash no not animesh animesh very bad it's not like that now now we have to find also x coordinate and see here how can we find the x coordinate see if this is uh, how much 64 by root 2 got it if this is 64 by root 2 then what about this this is 32 as 45 this 32 so this is also 32 okay if this is 32 you have to subtract this 24 to so 32 minus 24 32 minus 24 yes 8 very good this is 8 8 from origin because from origin this point is at 24 centimeter got it so if it is 24 and it is 32 so from origin this is 8 only and now if this is 8 then what we have to find we have to find this much distance again got it so what is this distance this is again 38 from here okay if this is again 38 so x coordinate see with respect to this 8 plus 38 what is this 8 and 38 what is this 46 finally 46 but negative right so the correct answer is minus 46 for x coordinate so we can put minus 46 centimeter got my point very good dipesh aman kiran very nice yes you all are going fine very good superb okay now the answer is here can you see yes minus 46 centimeter comma minus 70 centimeter can you see here very nice so this is minus 46 and minus 70 centimeter this is the final answer chalte hain aage badte hain okay when heat and thermodynamics and modern physics all the schedules of aspire for these topics are in the description box okay go there now so i hope you people understood well this concept now we have some more concept for you a very very good question for you you have to learn this 
एनी हाउ दिस क्वेश्चन टीच यू वेरी 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 गुड कंसेप्ट अबाउट द वेलॉसिटी ओके दिस कंसेप्ट इज या दिस इज नॉट सो इजी एल पी का प्री इट्स नॉट सो इजी बिकॉज इट हैज एम वन मीटर हियर एम इज नॉट कॉन्स्टेंट सो यू हैव टू थिंक बियॉन्ड द बॉक्स ओके येस सो सी हियर नाउ कॉन्सेंट्रेट हियर नाउ कॉन्सेंट्रेट हियर डियर here is a object and object has a velocity 10 so we can resolve in perpendicular and parallel part this part is 10 cos 37 it will be 8 meter per second and this is 6 meter per second which is 10 sin 37 okay now now you see what is the concave mirror radius of curvature is given so the focal length of this concave mirror is minus 2 meter so first we have to find where is actually the image yes uh answer is 6 no not at all not at all no 6 is not the answer that's why i am saying just concentrate here it's not so easy now we have to find where is v so we will apply the formula 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v plus 1 upon u got it from here 1 upon f is minus 2 is 1 upon v plus 1 upon minus u minus u means minus 6 now you can say 1 upon v is equal to 1 by 6 minus 1 by 2 here you can say 6 1 Minus three, so this is minus two by three. So value of v that you have, min sorry six minus three meter. Okay, got it. The value of v is yes minus three. So minus three is v. You have to remember it. V is minus three. Okay. Now after that. you have to find the value of dv by dt the formula for dv by dt is equal to minus v by u whole square into du by dt got it the very basic formula right so see here minus and v is minus 3 u is minus 6 square d u by dt du by dt so du by dt is 8 meter per second and it is plus 8 meter per second so what will be 1 by 2 minus will be cancel out 1 by 2 1 by 4 into 8 minus so dv by dt is equal to minus 2 meter per second got it this is your first answer first answer means the component of the velocity the component of the velocity which is parallel to the principal axis is minus 2 meter per second yes right teja not good it's not 10 so the component of velocity due to parallel component due to this motion is minus 2 remember this okay you have to remember this got it now let's see what happen for the next component arshin sayed hi hello khushbu vishnu pratyaksha anant this formula this is the very basic formula dv by dt this is the formula for the velocity of any object in front of spherical mirrors okay and yahan par hum log ye formula abhi derive nahi kar sakte for time constraint this formula you are going to give the your uh, final aspire or you can say you are going to uh, attempt for advance and you are asking about this formula this is a very basic formula you should learn okay chalo ab aage bolte hain beta m wala formula okay due to this right one component is minus 2 meter per second another component we are going to find here for another component this is you know that 
one second yes now this component is 6 meter per second there is a component due to this also and due to this you have to know that h i upon h o is equal to minus m because for the mirror m is equal to minus v by u okay if it is minus v by u then we have to use this h i upon h o is equal to minus m actually we have two basic formula for m is equal to h i upon h o and another formula m is equal to minus v upon u right so for h i h i we can say m into h naught and due to this motion due to this motion actually height of the object is changing right so we have to find differentiation yani d h i upon d t is equal to m because m is not constant how can we say m is not constant because m is v by u and v are u are changing due to this movement due to this motion due to this velocity that's why we cannot say m is constant so we have to differentiate like m dh naught by dt plus h naught and dm by dt okay lag 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 everyone just refresh just refresh your browser students Bacho. okay stubbed okay just wait one or two seconds now refresh your browser what's la what is that root 13 not correct animesh it's not correct minus 2i plus 3j it's not correct my dear students minus 2i and 3j yeah now it's okay okay very good should i proceed dear shivam should i proceed okay no it's not the correct animesh it's not 3j see here see here that's why i'm saying this is a very good and conceptual question because in first attempt definitely you will do wrong aap pehle attempt mein bilkul galat karoge isi liye to maine ye questions liye hain jisse aapko kuch nayi cheeze seekhne ko mile okay so isi liye main in questions ko yahan par isliye kara raha hu taki aap naya concept seekhe got it and definitely aap yahan pe galti kar rahe hoge aur wahi galti aap kar rahe ho jo main expect kar raha tha okay chalo beta dekhte hain so aapne dekha isko maine kaise differentiate kiya right or q aise kiya because m is not constant means here we have to find first m so how we find m let's see so solve kar lete bachcho m is equal to minus v upon u now we have to find dm upon dt got it put minus here then formula for the differentiation u square put u dv by dt then minus put v here du by dt right so ye bhi kuch aapko naya lag raha hoga definitely naya lag raha hoga ab aap yahan pe kya dekh rahe ho ke isko hum log kaise solve karenge okay very good yes aage bata raha hu ghabrao nahi so minus u what about the value of u yes u is minus 6 got my point u is minus 6 and what is dv by dt kya nikala tha hum log ne yes minus 2 so minus v kitna tha bachcho minus 3 okay aur du by dt kitna nikala tha du by dt yahi to tha kitna tha ye 8 so yahan pe kya rakhoge bachcho 8 divided by u where is u 6 square of u 36 got it very good now see minus 6 into 2 12 and minus minus plus 12 got it so it is plus 12 okay now after plus 12 what you will do 
दिस इज एट थ्री माइनस ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस माइनस प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर डिवाइडेड बाय थर्टी सिक्स गॉट इट पा रहे हो बच्चों यस yes. अब देखो इज इक्वल टू क्या करोगे माइनस ऐसी रहेगा देखो थर्टी सिक्स अपॉन थर्टी सिक्स यानी डी एम बाई डी टी बच्चों कितना आ गया माइनस वन ओके नाउ डी एम बाई डी टी इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन अगेन मानसी 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 इट्स नॉट करेक्ट एट यस अभी नो माइनस वन इज हियर राइट एंड नाउ इफ वी पुट हियर डी एच आई बाई डी टी दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड सो वॉट इज एम एम क्या निकाला था बच्चों अभी हम लोगों ने बोलो यस माइनस वी अपॉन यू सो माइनस वी अपॉन यू सो एम की वैल्यू कैलकुलेट कर लेते हैं चलो फिर से माइनस वी अपॉन यू सो सी हियर माइनस वी कितना था माइनस थ्री यू कितना था माइनस सिक्स माइनस माइनस कैंसिल सो एम इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन बाई टू गॉट इट सो पुट द वैल्यू हियर माइनस वन बाई टू सो डी एच ओ बाई डी टी कितना है सी हियर डी एच ओ बाई डी टी इज सिक्स ओके सो प्लस एच ओ एच ओ कितना है सी दिस हाइड प्लस वन वेरी गुड डी एम बाई डी टी कितना आया है बच्चों डी एम बाई डी टी माइनस वन सो सी हियर वॉट वी हैव टू थ्री राइट सो डी एच ओ बाई डी टी एंड एम इज ऑल्सो माइनस वन बाई टू सो वे पुट माइनस वन बाई टू इट विल बी माइनस थ्री गॉड इट टू थ्री माइनस थ्री and here this is h o h o is plus 1 are you getting h o is plus 1 right h o is plus 1 and this dm by dt that we calculated here is minus 1 to minus 1 plus 1 is equal to minus 1 got it so ye minus 1 or minus 1 is equal to minus 4 meter per second got it my dear students very nice so what is uh, praveen pratyaksha minus 1 by 2 no it's not minus 1 by 2 it's minus 1 by 4 see here m dh not by dt we put value of m minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is m is equal to minus v by u minus v is minus 3 and u is minus 6 minus minus cancel 3 2 1 by 2 so it m is minus 1 by 2 we put minus 1 by 2 dho by dt height of object so it is upward and upward is plus so that's why this is plus 6 plus as it is h not 1 dm by dt minus 1 so this is minus 4 so what is the final answer bachcho what is the final answer Final answer is minus two i cap minus four j cap. You have to remember this concept. This is a very nice, very good, and very conceptual part is there. Okay, चलिए आगे बढ़ने हैं. I hope आपने नया concept सीखा and अच्छा भी लगा आपको. Now let's see another one. एंड ऑप्टिक्स uh, के अभी रे ऑप्टिक्स था नाउ डी एम बाई डी टी कैसे आया डी एम बाई डी टी बेटा बहुत किया था आप वीडियो रिवर्स करके देख लेना ठीक है डी एम बाई डी टी इज डिफ्रेंशिएशन ऑफ एम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टी एंड एम इज इक्वल टू माइनस वी बाई यू जस्ट डिफ्रेंशिएट ऑल विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टी नाउ सी हियर दिस वन इज एनदर गुड और वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन ऑफ ये श्रीनाथ राइट यू आर राइट श्रीनाथ नाउ डी स्टूडेंट्स एन अदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ वेव ऑप्टिक्स देखो अभी ज्योमेट्रिकल ऑप्टिक्स में वी हैव डन अ लॉट ओके नाउ इट्स टाइम फॉर वेव ऑप्टिक्स सी इन वेव ऑप्टिक्स देर इज सम पैरल रेज ओके एंड सम पैरल रेज आर गोइंग लाइक दिस बिकॉज दिस इज एट द फोकस सो ऑल रेज like this will be parallel okay so they all will strike parallel here and you have to take 
only reflection part so they all are reflected by 45 degree okay after the reflection they goes at 45 degree okay now what you have to find see here in young's double slit experiment see in young's double slit experiment distance between the slits is d that between the slits and the screen is capital d that's shown here and S1 and S2 is 45 degree. Ye angle kitna padega bacho? 45 degree. The point source S is placed at the focus of lens. See, focus of lens. Focus A, after the refraction from the lens, they all will be parallel. Got it? Very nice. Okay. Now you can see here. See here. This is aperture of lens is much larger than D aperture and aperture is much larger okay guys so if it is much larger than d assuming only the reflected right from m into slits sif yaha padhi hai distance of central maxima from o what you have to find distance of central maxima from o to o se central maxima kidhar hooga ye aapko pata karna hai Okay, now dear students, you can see if it is 45 degree, see, so if these light rays after there, one minute, <coughs> this is S1 slit and this is S2. So if they are going like this, so they have no part difference on that side. But they have part difference here. They have part difference. You can see if we drop this perpendicular. So this is, you can see S1, S2, sine 45. Right? They have a path difference. So where is the central maxima? Central maxima where the path difference is zero. How 45 degree? Because this angle is at 45 degree. They are at 45 degree. If this 45, so this is 45. That's why this one is 45. If they are as 45, so this angle is also 45. So this will be sine 45. S1, S2, sine 45. I hope Pratyaksha Navalka, you got the answer. Okay? Okay, bacho. Now you can see this displacement or this part difference is S1, S2, sine 45. Is this path difference is sine 45? Then, if two rays are here, like this, got it? Agar aisa ho, to yaha par aapko path difference zero karna hai. Idhal dekho ye yaha se isne zada distance cover kiya. To ab isko idhar zada distance cover karna padega. Okay? Because for central maxima part difference should be zero part difference should be zero so what should be to be part difference to be zero part difference zero dekho ye ray this ray or you can say this ray this ray has a next part difference extra path will cover here so this ray has to cover the extra path and that extra part should be yes sine 45 so if this should be S1, S2 sine 45, so this point must be at an angle 45. Got it? If this angle is D, then this angle must be, this distance must be D. That means the answer is not D by root 2, because this one is D. Okay? So if this is D also, so at that point when you join this central line, this angle makes 45. So the part difference here, extra part difference there, they will equal and cancel out each other. So we'll get the easily the zero part difference for zero part difference. This point should be at distance capital D because this distance is D. So answer for this question, my dear students is capital D. Got it? Okay, let me explain, explain one more time. See here. These are two S1 and S2. Here is the central line 
and here is yes line and now you can see now you can see if some light rays are going like this okay so the part difference in those two lines is this this is the part difference and this ray cover extra path so this ray has to cover some extra path here right when they move like this and here is central maxima for this if this ray covers extra path s1 s2 sine 45 so if we draw perpendicular so this length also should cover extra path difference s1 s2 sine 45 when we join this then this angle must be 45 got it if this angle must be 45 then then if this angle is d and this angle must be 45 so this angle is capital d sorry not angle distance got it i hope you got it okay very good so the answer for this question is capital d let's see the another one yes another one more very good question see here very good question is there here two slits okay and two more slits s4 and s3 and here is the central line okay now let's see what the question says question says parallel monochromatic beam is falling normally on two slits s1 and s2 right separated by distance d as shown in figure by some mechanism the separation between s3 and s4 okay iska separation change kiya ja sakta hai as according to the question okay now the intensity measured at point p so we have to measure the intensity at point p so see dear students let's say here the intensity is i not and at this position the intensity is i1 so at this position intensity will be 4 i1 cos square phi by 2 okay got it now let's see if it's common perpendicular bisector s1 and s3 when z is equal to d lambda by 2d so this distance is z so this distance is my dear students z by 2 and you know what is the path difference path difference is s1 s2 xn divided by capital d i hope you understood okay if it is so what is xn this distance is given as xn now according to the first delta x s1 s2 by d xn is given that z by 2 so it will be d lambda by 4d see here d lambda by 2d so that xn is z by 2 so this is d lambda by 4d got it very nice so let's see here this d will be cancelled out this s1 s2 will be cancelled out because d is equal to s1 s2 and here you get delta x is equal to lambda by 4 okay if it is lambda by 4 my dear students is lambda by 4 so you get delta phi is the part difference which is 2 pi by lambda into delta x you can say 2 pi by lambda delta x my dear students lambda by 4 lambda will be cancel out 2 by 4 delta phi is equal to pi by 2 isn't it very good now how we find intensity i1 see here i1 is equal to 4 i naught cos square phi by 2 so you can see 4 i naught into cos square phi by 2 
delta phi is pi by 4 pi by 2 pi by 2 so it is pi by 4 and if it is pi by 4 to cos pi by 4 cos pi by 4 1 by root 2 is square of it 1 by 2 so you can say this is twice of i naught okay my dear students twice of i naught so if it is twice of i naught so the first intensity when z is this is twice i naught just remember it twice i naught what is the answer twice i naught so what is the next if we change this displacement to this so what will happen just see again we will use same formula same formula and same calculation is ko hame yaad rakhni hai ke pehle bar mein jo answer aya tha that is actually 2i naught right now again delta x is equal to s1 s2 xn now xn is 2d lambda by small d s1 s2 sn sn is z by 2 now z is this this much this much z and this is z by 2 so i put 2d d lambda s1 s2 will be cancel out got it sorry d is also there so d will be cancel out now delta x that you have 2 lambda so delta phi is 2 by by lambda into delta x so we'll get 2 pi by lambda into 2 lambda 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 cancel out and delta phi is equal to 2 pi sorry not 2 4 4 pi okay now the formula cos delta phi by 2 square so what is this is 4 i naught and cos square phi is 4 pi divided by 2 is 2 pi cos 2 pi is 1 so my dear students answer is 4 i naught okay so my dear students before that 2 i naught after that 4 i naught so what is the question intensity is i x before that it is i then x i so what is the value of x x is equal to 2 this is your answer okay so x is equal to 2 is the answer of this question and i hope aapne ye session enjoy kiya hoga and enjoy ke saath saath hi aapne bohut sari nai cheeze sikhi hongi okay guys so please go through the video revise one or two more one or two times and note down those special points they may ask in your coming advanced examination okay so till then aapko bhi bahut acha laga mero bhi bahut acha laga bahut sari cheeze maine aapko batayi and now ab bichhadne ka samay aa gaya hai next session mein hum log phir se milenge is session ko time ke accordingly yahi khatam karte hain and iske baad jo apna next session hoga bachcho that next session is for the je aspire that session is on uh, yeah uh, modern physics Okay, so we will study modern physics, means nucleus, atoms, and all these photoelectric effects, X-rays, all that, uh, advanced point of view. And uh, after that, uh, there is one more session that is for string wave and uh, sound waves. So, bane rahiye, and uh, please, aapke jo bhi doubt ho isme, comments mein zarur batayen. Comments mein aapke jo bhi doubt ya jo bhi confusion hoga, hum definitely usko phir se, mein personally usko jawab karunga. And thanks for your love and your support and for your comments. All the best. Thank you. Keep working. Hard work. No substitution. Okay. So keep working. Keep motivated. Stay motivated. All the best. Thanks. Thanks for your advanced preparation.